guys, this is Charlie from techinformed.us. And now, if you're a heavy Mac user, you've probably heard of the application Mac Update Desktop. Now, what this application does, it's basically one application that allows you to update your apps, all of them, just through that one app. Now, this is a very nice application released by MacUpdate.com, right here. I'm currently on their web page. You have all these different features. You can um, smart scan. You can update by one click. Um, you have watch lists for updates. Um, but there's only one con to this. It's twenty dollars per year. It has an annual fee. Now, I personally would rather just pay one fee and have it for life than pay an annual fee. But I guess that's how they chose to do it. Now. There are a few alternatives to this, one of which is getting a cracked version of this. Now, I would really rather not get a cracked version because, you know, they're illegal with all those torrents and things. So I'm going to be showing you a legal application that's basically an alternative. It's called AppFresh. Let me go ahead and pull up their website. It basically does the same thing, except it, um, on Mac Update Desktop, it's probably a little bit easier. I've actually never used it. You can download a 10-day free trial on Mac Update Desktop. Um that I'm actually not going to do because I don't really need it. But the application is called AppFresh. It allows you to update your apps um, right through the application. Completely free. Excuse me. Um. So what? It, let, let me read the description for you on the header. It says, AppFresh helps you keep all your applications, widgets, preference panes, and application plugins installed on your Mac and up to date. All from one place, easy to use, and fully integrated to Mac OS X. So, this is actually released by a company called MetaCark or something like that. Can't really pronounce it. Links always down below. I'll put the link for Mac Update Desktop in case you want to purchase that. Um, so you can, it'll basically take care of Apple updates too, so you don't need to run a separate software updates. Um, Sparkle updates, you can have Microsoft updates if you have the Microsoft Office suite or anything like that, like I do. Um, you can download and install right from the application. Um, you, for your widgets, like for the dashboard and everything, you can update them as well. And you can also update your preferences, or your preferen preference panes and plugins right here, like um, these in your system preferences. So to get this, you can scroll all the way down. There'll be a little um, download link. It's only 1.6 megabytes. It'll download in 13 seconds, which I personally find ridiculous because this is very slow internet at this hotel, unfortunately. And there we are. So basically, if you're on a Mac, it'll decompress itself. Well, this is only for Mac, so it'll decompress itself or not. Right here you get app fresh. Go ahead and decompress it if it does not do it automatically. And you're gonna get this app. It's no um, DMGs or anything, just this individual app. Drag it to your apps folder so it can set up application support files. We can delete the zip file and go ahead and open it up. Then obviously you're gonna get this notification. It says app fresh is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? It'll give you some information about where it was downloaded. Just hit open no viruses or anything like that. So here it is. It has a very simple UI. Um, um, okay, so the very first time you open it, I guess this is going to come out. It'll say AppFresh Preview 8. Please note that AppFresh is still a work in progress and some features might be ready, for, not be ready for everyone. Make sure that you have a working backup of your machine if you enable the following option. Support for installing. Eh, uh, sure. Actually, no. Okay, so as you can see, over to the left, it'll say, well, it'll basically give you a huge bar. Here you have updates available, um, up-to-date apps, unknown apps, and your these are of, of your status. Under the type category, you have your everything, your applications, your plugins, your widgets, your preference panes, your system updates. Vendors, pretty simple. You have your Apple applications, Microsoft applications, Adobe applications, and third-party applications. I use this. This is an, actually another feature, um, you know, that comes with it that I'm not going to be bothering. And then you have your categories. So to get this all kicked up, kicked up, as you can see, I actually have nothing um, up here as I get a, updates available. Just go ahead and right here and click that little button. It'll 
down here on the bottom left hand corner it'll scan your applications. I'm actually going to go ahead and speed up this application because I have something like 130 so I'll be back to you guys when it's completely done. Alright, so th that actually took a little longer because this is the very first time I've downloaded this application. As you can see, the bar on the bottom left hand corner has changed from scanning apps to actually updating them. Right now it is doing Apple updates and it's 62% done. So I will be back to you guys again when the updates are completely done and give you a full review of the user interface and all the different options found in this application. Alright, so the updates are pretty much done. Um, here we have some updates right here that do have updates, applications that do have updates available. Now, um, right here, um, here under this tab right here we have updates that are available. We have Adobe Photoshop CS4. Huh. Boom, application on the App Store, dash code, all these different things have updates. So let's just do an update for Firefox. We're going to select it, we're going to hit this little down arrow right there. And then I actually have to, when you go in, and this is actually very different, you have to actually update the app and um, find the update. So I'm just going to click that. Um, there we go, I have found the update. So I'm gonna add, this is that's the only con about this application, you actually have to go in and find the update, which is pretty much in most scenarios it's the download link so um, here the new t column has update has formed we have the updating app I mean the updating um, tab so we're gonna go back to updates available um, let's go ahead and update better touch tool that's a small update so we're just gonna hit download and I don't believe we would will have to um, find the download link on that see um, some of them you don't have to so you can update, update actually multiple apps. I'm going to go ahead and update Boom. And for this one, I actually have to um, find the download update. Um, so I'm just going to click that. The download link will actually pretty much be... Um, oh, that's not right. So as you can see, the uh, con about this... Um, is um, pretty much you have to find the download link or it won't update. See, there's a Neo update, uh, Neo Office update available. So, um, I think it's pretty much right there. So, you basically have to go in and find the download link. Um, that's can be a pain, but. See, I couldn't find the download link, so it um, was cancelled. So you can update as many apps as you want. Here are the unknown thing files, I guess, applications that it cannot find updates. As you can see right here, there's a notification right here that will tell you Better Touch Tool has installed. You can basically just exit out of that. Um, all these different updates. Here are all the apps that are actually up to date on my Mac. I got all these. And they're up to date. Excuse me. Um, here's everything. Here's every single application I have. Um, Apple, you have tabs. These are all the things you can update. Adobe, here are all the things that I can update for Adobe. Microsoft, I have the Microsoft Office Suite. I can update that sometime in the near future. Um, and third party, these are all the applications that are not released by Adobe, Microsoft, or Apple. Now I haven't really fiddled around with I use this too much, so I'm not very familiar with that. So I'm guessing it's nothing important. Here you actually have your views. You can view um, with how you want to view it, I guess. So as you can see, I have the installation that is successful. This one was successful as well, but the installation has failed. That's odd. So this is not this. Um, is not I guess it is a very good alternative to Mac update desktop right over here 
but I'm pretty sure Mac Update Desktop is, um, well, it's hassle-free. It's m m way more hassle-free than AppFresh, but AppFresh still gets the job done. So I hope you guys enjoy AppFresh. Um, I'll put the link in the description, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Drop me a comment down below. Say you like it. Say you hate it. Not really. Don't really care. I'll be sure to respond to any comments that are down below. Make sure to check out the website that I for at www.techinform.us. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash abnercus. Again, that's A-B-N-E-R-C-U-S. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.